Hello, welcome to my channel, Autumn Moon the Mage. Uh, this is a general reading in regards to love for Virgo. It's a general reading, so it might not resonate for you, but if you were drawn to the video, then perhaps there is a message intended for you. Perhaps the entire message is intended for you, but if some portion of it doesn't resonate, don't try and force it. So I'm starting this week off with the spellcasting oracle cards, trying to get an overall um, for you, like an overall card and for you in regards to love. Sorry. My, my mind keeps wandering. I meant to do a different kind of reading this week about specifically past love. And, um, and I tried to set it up to do it, but I knew for some people it would be bad news. <laughs> and so I, and I was hoping to provide uh, happier readings the next two weeks, just really glowing, happy readings. And so I didn't do it, but as I was starting the video, I thought, I thought of a song that is why I wanted to do that kind of reading in the first place. And it's called, um, quietly yours. Okay. I don't know who it's by, but it's on a soundtrack for a show called persuasion by Jane Austen. Uh, I, I mean, the persuasion is based on a book by Jane Austen, but there's a new persuasion movie on Netflix. And I'm telling you all of this because it all came to mind when your video started. So maybe this means something to somebody watching. But uh, if you haven't watched the movie, maybe you need to see it. Uh, it is about past love, though. So and there's this song that plays in it called Quietly Yours, which I'm kind of obsessed with because it's really quite beautiful. Uh, not very like hip music necessarily, but it is very beautiful. And anyway, it might resonate for you because it popped up right now. So I got two cards for you, grieving and family is what comes out here for you, Virgo. Um, which sounds, it, it sounds sad. Uh, I mean, grieving, obviously that, that would be sad energy to be in. Um, and I was looking for energy in regards to love. So maybe there has been some kind of loss that you're grieving. Uh, but with the family card, I think that's a, that card actually is like saying, you know, that you're not alone. Even if you don't have like specifically family around you, you, you do have a family that you've created for yourself, you know, in your friends. Our friends are very much, our friends are the family that we created, you know? Sorry, just a sec. Sorry, I was hoping that I could get my dog to come inside so she would stop barking, but she, she wants to stay out there and continue barking at people, so I'm very sorry. Um, but the grieving and the family card together, I mean, the grieving card implies that something has, you feel a loss in some way, you know, that you feel like you have lost something. And it, I mean, you're grieving that loss. And it, with the family card showing up, it indicates that you might not see the, you might not see the answer. You know, you might not see the lesson that you were supposed to learn. You might not see a, a way out of your grief. You know, there's just some aspect of it that maybe you're not understanding. And if you turn to family, they might be able to help you because the family card talks about, uh, well, I mean, it talks about actually about your actual family, not your friend family, which is what I was thinking, but your actual family and how it's built out of people who often clash, you know, uh, but you're like forced to be in this unit, regardless of the fact that you clash and how uh, those people are brought into your lives to to help you learn something that you needed to learn. Like uh, if you believe, I don't know what you believe, but the belief is that uh, by at least the creator of this deck, <laughs> that, that before you were born, you, you, you chose this life and you chose your family. You chose the people that would be surrounded 
by you. You made contracts with people, soul contracts, and you made those contracts because your soul knew that there was a lesson that needed to be learned. Your soul needed to learn something, and it knew that these people could provide for it. It knew that these people could help it learn those lessons, and possibly in some cases, it knew that those people would just be like a part, they just, you just wanted them to be a part of your life. You know, that's just those soul connections that we talk about. But uh, anyway, the cards indicate that you're grieving in some way and that, that you should turn to family, either your real, you know, your actual biological family or the family you've created for yourself to try and find a solution, to try and deal with what you're feeling. Maybe they know something that you don't know. Maybe they have information that could help you if you just reach out to them and tell them what's going on with you. But we're going to take a look now at the person you're dealing with. We're going to look at how they see you, what they think of you, and how they feel how they feel about you. So we'll clarify them if necessary, and then we'll get an oracle message. So how does the person connecting with Virgo, how do they see Virgo, what do they think of Virgo? Oh, oh. The person connecting with Virgo, how do they see Virgo? What do they think of Virgo? We get the Queen of Swords, which is actually uh, air energy. So that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You might be dealing with one of those sides, but this is someone who's kind of icy, actually. This is someone who wants something a very specific way. Uh, they're willing to like explore something, but they have very like, uh, they know exactly what they want. They, they uh, maybe have boundaries in place to make sure that, that they get exactly what they want. They're very, uh, my way or the highway kind of energy, kind of energy here. Okay. So it's like, yeah, I'll consider this but you have to do it the way I want it done or it's not going to happen. So it comes across as very kind of like icy energy. We also get the hanged man here. Uh, and the hanged man is somebody who has always seen something one way, you know, and very adamant about it. Like very, yeah, very adamant. It's this way, period. There's no question. There's no discussing it. It is this way. And he ends up like hanging upside down to defend that belief, you know, because he absolutely believes it's true. So he ends up hung upside down and hanging there. He sees it all from a new perspective. And so <laughs> he, and his, his beliefs are kind of shifting. And so it represents that kind of limbo space, you know, somebody who's not really, and it's not necessarily that they see you as changing in any kind of way, but they definitely see you as not moving. You're like in this like stuck space, like not going anywhere with this hanged man. I mean, he's literally not going anywhere. He's hanging there. So the six of swords is uh, trying to find peace in a situation, like <clears throat> possibly that you were very emotional about something, uh, especially with this queen of swords showing up as well. Uh, the Queen of Swords, she's she's very honest, you know, she's trying to be logical about something, not leading so much with her heart. And with this card here, the heart is kind of, the heart space is kind of in turmoil, you know, things are kind of rocky and, and unsure. And so instead of listening to, to your heart space, you listen to logic and truth and like what you know makes sense and you follow that path. And uh, it takes you into a place of calm and a place of peace. But I feel like they see you as someone who's trying not to feel, may maybe, if that makes sense, trying not to feel what you feel, trying to lead with your logic, lead with, um, with what makes sense, you know, and, and have that bring you out of what you're feeling, okay, and take you to a place of, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it, it sounds bad the way that I'm stating it but or, or or it sounds good which means that i'm not explaining it right because 
uh, the way that I feel that they see this, like, isn't necessarily positive, but they do see you as trying to move yourself to a place of calm. So that is positive, okay? The Eight of Cups is walking away. And again, we're talking about emotions here. The, these Eight Cups are filled with, with your heart, you know, it's things that you've invested yourself into. It's so interesting that she's walking towards us because in the Eight of Cups, normally she's walking away. And, and normally there's like a spot for a Ninth Cup and you can see that there was a Ninth Cup there, but it's missing. And so it's assumed that she's taking that Ninth Cup and walking away with it. And that Ninth Cup represents our hopes, you know. And so we're walking away from the things that don't serve us and walking towards that hope. You know, we're focusing on that one thing that we think will bring the one thing that brings us the most joy currently, the one thing that we've invested ourselves in and that we're pouring our hope into and we walk away with that. But in this one, she's not walking away. She's walking towards, she's walking towards us, but um, still leaving those cubs. And, but there's no ninth cub of hope here, which is weird. Uh, Like I said, I feel, I think that they see, and of course this is just from their perspective, so this doesn't have to be the truth of the situation, but the way that they see it is that you're coming across a little bit icy, that you're, you're not um, moving towards them in any way, really, that you're trying to distance yourself from your emotions, you're trying to be very logical and practical about the situation, and also maybe you know, like I said, my way or the highway, it's going to be done the way I want it done, or it's not going to be done, which, I mean, you should definitely not fold on what you want, you know, uh, what you want is what you want. And if this person's unwilling to like give that to you, or if this person is unwilling, unable to give it to you, it's 100% okay for you to say, all right, then I'm going to move on. I am going to pull my emotions back. I am going to uh, lead with logic and truth and walk away from this because it's not what I want and it's not what I was hoping for. It's not what I'm looking for. It's 100% okay for you to do that if that's what you've done because it's kind of how they see it. So can we see how this person feels? How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Vir Virgo? I'm sorry that you're grieving, Virgo. Um, I'm sorry that you find yourself in that place. I have a tendency to be, I have a tendency sometimes to be kind of um, perky. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I hope that doesn't come across as offensive because it's not that I don't see that there is like a tough situation happening here. I do definitely see that. Uh, I don't know why. I, I hope, but I hope it doesn't come across as offensive. If it does, you should tell me uh, and I will work on it. I will so work on it. But anyway, how they feel about you. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's positive. The Knight of Pentacles is slowly moving towards something. It's funny that he's he's showing us this pentacle, like he's walking away from us. But both him and the horse are looking back, if you can see. That's that's interesting because that that whole message at the beginning of all of this about dealing with someone from your past. Um and it just feels like they're looking back, right? I mean, they are, they're both looking back and he's holding up this pentacle. Like, see, this is what I'm working on. <laughs> this is, this is what I'm moving towards this. And the pentacles represent commitment and they represent, um, stability. Okay. And 
um, they are they they are slowly the the night of pentacles is the slowest night in the entire tarot he is moving very very slowly but he is definitely moving towards something that he's committed to okay and I'm going to clarify that just because of the image. And normally I would say this is them walking towards you. They're just moving very slowly, accepting that it's going to take time and willing to take time to do it. But it's because of the way they're looking back, it feels like they're headed towards something, but thinking back at you. Do you know what I mean? Like, and this is emotional space. And so like they are committing themselves to something they're moving towards a commitment towards something else but they're looking back at you hmm can i get two more cards can i get two more cards how does this person feel about virgo i love this deck i love the colors of it i can't remember what it's called <clears throat> i'm sorry it just came into my head but I don't know what it's called. I think it might be called Tarot Mucha or something like that. But I just love the colors. Can I get two more cards? How does this person feel about Virgo? The Seven of Cups. which is um, a card that represents choices. You know, in the Seven of Cups, they have all these options that they're considering. And so they don't know what choice to make. So it can represent confusion, but it can also represent like, I don't want to see things for how they are. So I'm going to fantasize about all the ways they could be. You know, so instead of like focusing on the reality of my situation, I'm going to fantasize about the many different ways it could be if only say if only dot 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 whatever that is. Um, let's get one more card. How does this person feel about Virgo? The way that they're coming out is weird, right? Oh, that's interesting. That's a hermit. It's your card. Virgo energy. So they don't know the answer uh, they not that they don't know the answer about how they feel about you necessarily but maybe maybe they don't know the answer of how they feel about you but the hermit represents somebody who's gone within to find the answer to a question you know and so they're thinking all, all of these all of these cards in in my i don't know opinion or the way that i feel uh, that they're coming across is that this person's thinking about you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're, they're unsure, you know, they maybe have committed themselves to something else, but they're not sure of that commitment. They're looking back at you and they're thinking about, uh, yeah, they're thinking about you and and where and where they've committed themselves and wondering if they've made the right choice they're fantasizing about what if it went this way instead you know could could i have that instead and the hermit card here yeah they are really searching within themselves trying to find uh trying to find an answer trying to figure out um what they should do i think what's right for them what path they should be following <laughs> maybe questioning the path that they find themselves on. Let's take a look at uh, how they see you. Although th this, this whole thing looks really clear to me. I don't really have a lot of questions. It seems very obvious to me that they see you um, distancing yourself from your emotions, being kind of icy towards them. Uh, but also they've, they've headed in another direction, you know, but they don't know for sure that they want to go in that direction. So it's like, they're turning back towards you. It just seems really clear to me. I don't really know what, what to clarify. Let me just take a look at it for a second.
let's clarify their hermit on their side. On the, I mean, well, all of it's their side, but you know, on their feelings. What's this hermit? There are people outside. I'm sorry. And so my dog keeps barking. Please clarify the hermit. I priestess. One, it's possible that that's saying that we're not going to know. Like, I'm not going to tell you. The high priestess doesn't explain things. She expects you just to know, okay? Because uh, she just knows. And she the information she knows, she just knows it. And she can't, like, spell it out for you. She can't tell you this is the steps, you know? This is why this makes sense. This is just what is, okay? And um, so it's possible we won't be told. And... Um, or maybe you know what the answer is, and it's just saying you know, okay? Or it's possible that this person's gone within to, to try and focus on their intuition, try to listen to their heart, you know? I mean, that's what the hermit is doing anyway. He's gone within to find the answers within himself. And so it's possible that this is saying, you know, they have turned within, <clears throat> they've turned within, um, and they're trying to listen to their intuition and have their intuition guide them to what they need to do and what the right decision is. Okay. Suppose that doesn't really <laughs> help a whole ton, but I feel like the message is very clear. So I hope that, that it makes sense to you, Virgo. I'm going to get a, uh, I'm going to get an Oracle message for you here. <clears throat> I keep feeling the need to clear my throat. Can I get a message for Virgo, please? In regards to love. Messy. Messy. Can I get a message for Virgo, please? While you're reading is just being very, um, very direct, you know, very to the point, kind of not a lot of like, let's think about this. Let's explore this. Let's, you know, it's just, look, this is what it is. You'll find what you seek. If you're, if you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are astronomical. You will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are astronomical you will. It's up to you, the universe. And I think this is like a remain positive kind of card. Like, like the chance, the possibility is, is um, amazingly like, chances are astronomical you will, okay? And it's as clear as that. So like if you have faith and you remain positive, then you're going to draw it in quicker is all that it's saying, you know, like be positive, remain hopeful. Most people are just trying to survive. Just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence and inspired by your choices. They simply forget to say thank you, please. And I love you like crazy as often as they feel the urge. Let's not be one of those people. Thank you, please. I love you like crazy, the universe. And this is just a reminder that people are just living their lives, you know, and they're just trying to get by and they're dealing with whatever drama they have to deal with. And so in the, in dealing with that, they might, they might not be expressing themselves to you. And oh goodness, I don't know why I feel the need to clear my throat so much, but First off, it highlights that they think well of you, okay? Like that that is it that is a truth here, but also they're just overwhelmed by life and so they're maybe not communicating it as much as as they should 
Also, in addition to that, don't be one of those people. Don't let life overwhelm you so you're not saying these things that you should be saying, you know? Don't forget to say thank you. Don't forget to say please. Don't forget to say I love you like crazy, if that applies. So I feel like I did a lot of talking and we didn't get a ton of cards, but, but the message seems very clear to me. So I hope it's clear for you as well, Virgo. Um, if you enjoyed the reading or if it brought you clarity, if it resonates for you, I'd love to hear about it. If you could please post a note below in the comment section if you're comfortable or at least like the video to let me know it resonated, that would be super helpful. But thank you so much for watching. I wish you good luck in this and all things. And remember to be positive. Think positive words and positive thoughts. Say positive words. Think positive thoughts. So you can draw more positivity into your life. So thank you so much, Virgo. I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye.